Today, I'm making malabi, the iconic Middle Eastern pudding dessert. In the past, traditional malabi was prepared from dried orchid powder. Today, this powder is a lot more expensive and hard to find, so it was replaced with cornstarch, making it easier for people to prepare. Malabi can be made in many different ways, with rice and milk, with semolina, or in a vegan version. Another special Malabi which I like to make is based on wheat and anise, and called Ashura. We are in the old city of Akko, in between the port and the market, right next to the house I grew up in. I opened Malabi House a few years ago with a dream to bring back real authentic Malabi. As a child, I grew up with grandmas and aunts that made Malabi on a daily basis. Back in the day, when you wanted to describe a woman that has it all, who is soft but firm, sweet but tough when needed, you'd call her Malabi woman. Every woman in my family made Malabi slightly different. I took a bit from each one of them and created my own version. To me, what's important is using high-quality ingredients in just the right amounts in order to reach the perfect texture. One of the secrets for a good Malabi is high-quality rose water. I prepare it by hand in a three-day process, using three different varieties of roses. Another topping I like to add, which might be a bit unusual, is berries. When you prepare this kind of dessert, which might seem simple at first, every ingredient counts. But what counts the most is how much you love what you do. In every Malabi I make, I put a piece of myself.